This tutorial will guide you to install ROS on a Ubuntu platform. To start with, I'll go to my browser and over here I'll type Ubuntu ROS Kinetic Install. The very first link leads me to the ROS wiki page. The first step is configuration of Ubuntu repositories. So this I can view in the software and updates part. So over here, three of the things should be ticked. That's the universe, multiverse and restricted. So this is universe, restricted and multiverse. So all four of them are mostly defaultly tagged, but if they are not checked, you can do them over here. My next step is to set up the source list. So control C and to open a new terminal, control Alt T. To paste in a terminal, control Shift V. It is going to ask for a password because this is a sudo command. Once this is done, my second step is setting up the keys again paste and done now comes the fourth step so this curl command is just an alternate method if you if the first one doesn't work you can try this one now i have to update the packages that i just downloaded so updating uh, the ubuntu system This might take some time depending upon the packages you have already installed in your system. And finally, the main command, which is the recommended command, sudo apt-get install ROS kinetic desktop full. So I'm going to start the installation, type in yes, enter. Depending upon your internet speed, this can take some time. So yes. I'll be back once the installation is completed. So that took some time. I hope there weren't any issues and the installation was successful. So if I run the above command again, I do not get any errors. So yes, one step, the complete installation of ROS is finished. The next thing I have to do is initialize ROS step. Now what ROS step does over here is it it easily installs some system dependencies and it is required to run some core components in ROS. So sudo ROS step init and then ROS step update. Now what I'll be doing is the environment setup stage. So this can be done in two different ways. Either I source the environment every time I open my new terminal over here with this line so i'll just copy paste this line onto my terminal so yes after i press enter i have sourced my environment so you will need to do this sourcing every time you open a new terminal there are multiple instances when you'll forget writing this line and the whole code wouldn't work throwing some random error so yes keep in mind that we have to source this environment every time i open a new terminal or a new window so opening a new tab with control shift T and then sourcing the file again, I'm ready to run any ROS command. Now there's another way to have this source inbuilt. So what I can do is edit my bash RC file. What this will do is every time it will source this line automatically. I do not have to source it every time I run. This can be done by running this line onto a terminal. What this is going to do is it will edit our bash RC file. So if I run this command onto a new terminal, yes, and then source uh, bash RC. Yes, so I'm good to go. What I'm going to do next is open the bash rc file by typing nano bash rc and showing you the bash rc file. So if I scroll down over here, the source line is already present. So every time I open a new terminal, this will be called automatically. Also, what I suggest over here is this process or this technique is not advisable because if you're working on multiple environments and multiple projects, what 
you will be doing is confusing the system as to what terminal is sourcing what thing, what setup. So it is better to always open a new terminal and source the setup file. I'll be showing you how to source the setup file after opening a new terminal in the coming tutorials. So let me delete this line for now and control X and yes, save. So if I run the nano bash RC line again, I do not have this line. After this, my next setup is installing the dependencies by running this last final line on this ROS wiki page. So copying this line and running it, it onto a terminal, pressing yes. So yes, this might take some time. Let me be back once the complete setup is finished. Yes, so the setting up is finished. Now, how do I check if my ROS is installed properly or not? What I'll be needing to do is just run ROS core. And yes, I do not get any errors and the ROS code started properly. So I'm good to go. Stay tuned. There are so many exciting things that are coming up. Keep watching, keep commenting. Robometrics.